Hi guys, I'm welcome to a new video today. I'm Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me, and today we are going to take a look and install the Galaxy Note 8 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So I am going to split this video into two parts, so in the first part of this video we are going to install this ROM, I am going to show you all the steps you need to perform, and in the second part of this video we are going to take a short look on this ROM and we are also going to compare the Galaxy Note 8 ROM to the stock Galaxy S8 which I have over here, and yeah, so now let's start with the installation process. So the very first thing which you need to do is to download the ROM of course, I've already done that, as you can see here, this year is the ROM, it's called the SAC23 ROM, and this year is a full Galaxy Note 8 port, and the first Galaxy Note 8 port for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So after you have downloaded this ROM, you need to power off your device, so let's do that quickly. Then you need to press the volume up button the home button and the power button at the same time to get to the recovery mode. So the first thing you need to do here is to go to the wipe section and wipe all your data or basically do a factory reset. Then you need to go back, go to the install option and locate your ROM where you have stored it. In my case it's here, Mega downloads and just press on the file and swipe to flash. So now we are in the Aroma installer, now we are going to install this ROM. First of all you need to agree with the terms, press on there and say next, say next again. Here um, you should say perform a full wipe, press next again. Here you can select the way you want to root your device or not to root, so I would select um, Chimefire Super SU, but remember that you can't use um, that you can't use Snapchat together with uh, the super user here, which I have selected right now. Then press next. Here you can uh, remove some Samsung apps, some Google apps and some third party apps. Um, let's skip that quickly here, press next again. Here we can enable the navigation bar or um, set it by default. So the thing is that you can't disable the navigation bar on this ROM, which is quite sad if you ask me. Um, you can also enable or disable the new boot animation there. You can enable or disable the China Smart Manager or the normal Smart Manager. You can install the iOS emojis and so on. So here you can see that um, you can see you have a lot of options here. You can also um, enable or disable the air command. You can enable or disable Bixby. You can um, also change your camera. I would select the S7 camera because the N8 camera has some layout issues. And yeah, after you are done with that, press next. Here you need to select your CSC, so the one of Germany isn't here unfortunately, so I will leave it as it is. Press next. Here you can um, change your splash screen, so the first screen which you see when you turn on your phone. I would also leave it as it is, press next and press next again to install this ROM. So this process could take like 3 minutes, maybe even longer, you just need to wait. So, as you can see, the installation process is finished now, and now you can just say finish, and you can also say reboot now, and now your phone will just boot to the new ROM. So again, you just need to wait. So as you can see the phone booted up now and now you just need to set up your phone, so let me do that quickly. So 
So here you can see that we have some options to protect our phone. The face recognition does not work on this ROM, the ear scanner does not work um, too because we don't have the iris scanner on the Galaxy S7 of course, but you can use the fingerprint scanner to unlock your phone which works quite well on this ROM. And here we go, so this here is the Galaxy Note 8 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now let's take a look at this ROM. So this Galaxy Note 8 ROM hasn't got any big differences to any other Galaxy S8 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy um, S7 and S7 Edge. But the biggest difference here is that this ROM here is based on Android 7.1.1. As you can see here it says Android 7.1.1 and the Samsung Experience version is 8.5 which is the version of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So you got a new um, Android version here. On the left side here I got the Galaxy S8 here and as you can see this phone runs on Android 7.0 not on Android 7.1.1 so as you can see here this phone on the left side runs an older version of um, TouchWiz or an older version of um, the Samsung Experience here as you can see here this one says 8.1 and this one here says 8.5 right and um, so there are not big differences between these two versions but now um, we are going to take a look at all of the differences so all of the small differences which we have so here in the lock screen you can see that there are not that big differences but the uh, wallpaper is different so you can see we got that live wallpaper or this infinity wallpaper on both phones but they look quite different from each other on the left side you got the s8 wallpaper over here and here you get the um, note 8 wallpaper and you can also see that we have an 8 over here which looks really nice in my opinion and every time when you unlock your phone you have a different you have a different animation so let me show you that quickly here so you can see you have a nice animation there and you also have a nice animation when you unlock the, uh, the Galaxy S8 over here with the old infinity wallpaper you can see and yeah so another difference which we have between these two devices is the gallery app. So you get a new gallery app on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge running on the Galaxy Note 8 ROM. So if you open both gallery apps here and if you open a picture um, using the gallery app you can see a small difference here. So um, at the bottom you can see that we have six different options here. You can edit this picture, you can group it, you can um, add some stickers and so on and you can delete it. And here on the old version of Samsung Experience you um, have something called Bixby Vision and so on. Here you can see that Bixby Vision is at the top. They have changed the location of all these buttons here and here you need to press on edits before you start to edit this picture. Here you can directly edit the picture without pressing on the edit button so this here is much easier to use now. So another um, difference between these two devices is in the sound panel or in the volume panel. So every time when you um, access the sound panel on the Galaxy S8 you will see you have this normal um, sound panel here and if we expand this you can also change the volume of other things. But on the Galaxy S7 Edge running on the Galaxy Note 8 ROM, we have something new over here. So every time when we um, access the, the access the sound panel over here and expand this, you can see we have something new called Use Volume Keys for Media. So this will allow us to use our volume keys to change the volume of the media from here instead of changing the volume of the ringtone. So on this ROM here we also get something called Dual Messenger, so here if you go into the advanced features here you can see that we have the Dual Messenger on this phone and yeah so it's really nice to have this feature because you can, you can basically use two different accounts for Facebook, you can use two different accounts for WhatsApp and so on. So I haven't installed these apps uh, which support this um, dual messaging thing here, but uh, it's really nice to see that this ROM also has this option for um, the Galaxy S8, which I have over here, hasn't got this feature. And this here is pretty much it. So as I've said already, this ROM hasn't got any big 
differences to other Galaxy S8 ROMs. The biggest difference is that this ROM comes with Android 7.1.1, so it's a newer version of Android. And yeah, you can also double um, press the um, power button to get to the uh, camera here. And you can see it also has this Bixby Vision thing, but it does not work. And another small bug which we have here is um, the layout. So we can see that the buttons here overlap with the picture. So um, yeah, so this is probably the only bug which we have on this ROM. And it's also a really, really small and minor bug and it should not annoy you that much. So this here was basically the video about the Galaxy Note 8 ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. If you liked this video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give a dislike and peace out.